All right, y'all. So first up, we have military push-ups. Let's make sure as we go down, we're putting our arms directly to the side. All right. This is to stop your momentum, engaging more of your chest. Great job, great job. Keep pushing through. Couple more reps. You don't have to go fast. Less than 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. Let's finish strong. And time. All right, now we have a 15 second rest break. Next up, we have pike ups. Let's make sure as we're going down, we're returning back into that neutral position. Great job, there you go. You should feel this in your upper back and trap area and shoulders. Great job, less than 25. Almost there, less than 15. Whatever you do, make sure you're staying up. Yep, let's stay up. 10 more seconds. And time. All right, now we have another 15 second rest break. Next up, we have back pulls. for 45 seconds. Once again, let's make sure that we're controlling the movement. You don't have to speed through these. All right, this is for your upper back. Great job, yep. Elbows going straight back. There you go, less than 20 more seconds. Almost there, a couple more reps. And time, 15 second break. All right, so next up we have Superman. 45 seconds. Let's make sure we're going up as far as we can. Yep. Let's get a little pinch up top, a pinch up top for a split second. Right there, yep. Squeeze and hold for a split second. Less than 20 more seconds. You got it. Take your time. Control the movement. Five more seconds. And time, 15 second break. All right, now we have lateral walks. All right, let's make sure we're keeping our hips low and core tight. You should feel this right in the shoulder and core. Great job, yep. If you get tired, just stay up. Stay up. That's the whole goal. Less than 30 seconds. You got it. Let's get your reps in. The feet should match the hands. Good job. Right hand, right foot. Left hand, left foot. There we go. Less than 15 more seconds. You got it. Five more seconds. You got it. Let's stay up. There you go, way to push yourself. And time, all right, 15 more second break. All 
All right, next we have single leg hip lifts. All right, let's make sure we're keeping our hips all the way up and pinching up top. Let's squeeze. There you go. Good job. Control the movement going down. Slow and control going down. Great job, great job. We have less than 25 seconds. You should feel the burn right in your hamstrings. Good job, good job. Way to focus. Less than 15 seconds. Five more seconds. And time. All right, now we have a short break. We're going to do the other leg. All right, so just like the last leg, let's make sure we're getting those hips all the way up. Our body should be parallel up top. There we go. Slow and control going down. Slow and control. There we go. Less than 20 seconds. Let's keep it going. Five more seconds. And time. All right, 15 second break again. Next up, we'll have hip lifts, all right? So now we'll have both feet down. Once again, let's make sure we're controlling the movement going down. All right, this is gonna put more emphasis on the hamstrings. Great job, yep. We have 25 more seconds. Less than 10, almost there. And time, there you go. Rest break. Next up, we're gonna have hip lift holds. All right, so now we're gonna hold the up position. 45 seconds. Let's make sure we're squeezing up top. Yep, and hold. You should still be feeling these in your hamstrings. Less than 10. And time. Rest break. Next up, we'll be doing abductors. All right, so we're going to keep the hips up and we'll be going out with our knees. Let's make sure we're keeping our feet flat the whole time. Feet flat, yeah. Keeping the hips up. You're going to want to drop your hips, but make sure you're keeping them up. All right, so we have less than 30 more seconds. Good job, slow and controlled, slow and controlled. You should feel these in your hips, all right? So your glutes and hips. Less than 10 seconds. Time. 
All right, so next up we have sit up rolls. You don't have to go fast. Just make sure we're going all the way up. Yep. Use that momentum to roll yourself up. Good job. We have 30 more seconds. Yep, let's keep it going. The goal is to stay moving. Let's stay moving. There we go. Yep. Use that momentum. 15 more seconds. Five more seconds. And time. All right, 15 second break. All right, so next up we have alternating crunch kick. All right, so opposite elbow, opposite knee. There we go. This is another movement that you don't have to rush to. Control and tempo. There we go. This is real good for the obliques. We have 15 more seconds. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Less than 10. Less than 10. And time. 15 second break. All right, so next up we have reverse crunches. With these, let's make sure we're extending just a little bit as we go out. All right, so the feet should never touch the ground. This is to activate the lower abs. All right, let's make sure we're getting our reps in. Less than 25 seconds, yeah. Let's keep it going. There you go. 15 more seconds, let's finish strong. Five more seconds. And time, all right, rest break. All right, so a couple more. Now this is to work the obliques. Let's make sure our hand is touching our leg. All right, so that's the goal. Even if it can't, that's the movement we're looking for. Let's keep our body straight. We shouldn't be looking at our legs. There we go, let's control the movement. We have less than 30 seconds. Good job, make each rep its own. Great job, 15 more seconds. Five more seconds, five more seconds. Let's finish strong. And time. All right, rest breaking, and then we're gonna do the other side. And begin. There we go, yeah. Control each rep. There we go, let's finish strong, you all. Let's finish strong. We're almost there. 25 more seconds. Less than 15. Let's work those obliques. 10 more seconds, almost there, yep. A couple more reps. And time, good job, workout finished.